Hi, welcome to World of Safety. I'm Srinivas before you. Today's topic is dates, date spam. You know, date spam. Very sweet, uh, candy like fruit, which is most available in desert area. So, today we are going to see about how dates are important for safety of human being okay so uh, dates as such is just a uh, fruit used for desserts and various dishes and as such as a raw fruit contains a lot of good things nutrients but um, if you go into the uh, science of nutrients present in dates it is loaded with vitamins multivitamins multiple minerals small protein excess carbohydrate sugars and uh, even it is loaded with uh, um, many more good things inside like antioxidants or so so how this uh, dates are uh, very well utilized for safety purpose that we are going to see today so dates are uh, desert living plants which was once available in wild, domesticated by human being uh, more than 5,000 years ago. So uh, those days, uh, the desert travelers took some dates and uh, some water inside a bottle or something like that and travel across the deserts. Those days, desert acted as a storehouse of energy for the desert travelers. In desert, normally more temperature, you know, dehydration all that everything is solved by this magical food called dates so dates could be uh, uh, cultivated all around the tropics vulnerable countries climate vulnerable countries that is climate change vulnerable countries in uh, you know desert or arid areas it can perform well in irrigated areas also but we have to provide artificial dryness to the crop to perform well that is we are we should mimic the aridity so um, desert season uh, is a single season per year unlike coconut which is seasonless providing food to humans limitlessly dates or season only one season per year one tree could be able to give 70 to 140 kilogram of dates fruits okay so um, one tree could be able to give this much uh, kilogram of fruits means almost it is uh, it is very important for human so um, this crop this dates should be harvested and could be stored for even one year when the storage temperature is zero degrees centigrade Okay, so when I was talking with my friends, uh, no, only one friend, I was talking at that day, I could not be able to forget. The, the idea sparked like anything. Uh, I told due to, uh, you know, famines, there were many famines, 100, 200, 300 years ago. A lot of famines, humanity, and, you know, suffered. Those days, food scarcity was a big problem. Many people died of hunger. So climate change prediction also tells that there may be crop failures, hunger in vulnerable tropical countries of the earth. Suppose if you take this as the earth, the mid area, the tropical area, okay, equatorial area and uh, around equatorial area uh, is vulnerable for climate change as the sunlight is directly affecting this equatorial tropical areas maybe a desertification one side or um, flood in some other side. This is the drasticness of climate change. So, um, if there is a crop failure, if there is a hunger in a country, the other country will automatically help. How long and how much? Thickly populated countries like China, India, how could it is possible to give from other, to give food by the other countries so um, we should prepare for such famines when I was talking with that friend 
I told that food material surplus could be stored in uh, our global refrigerators. Global refrigerators, what is that? The polarized cap. Again, I should go for one more onion. Yeah. See, suppose this is uh, take as uh, earth, the hairy top Arctic and the bottom one is Antarctic, two polar regions. Earth is rotating like this and I am catching two polar regions where the sunlight is very meager or nil ice caps there is no temperature hot temperature so ice caps both areas that's I, uh, that's why i told refrigerator of our globe or global refrigerators we can store the surplus food in antarctica and arctic region uh, you know minus 20 degrees centigrade approximately so this much temperature food could be stored for even centuries so, uh, rotless, uh, infectionless, uh, healthy foods could be stored in deep ice sheets so that permanently it will be stored for uh, hundreds of years. When there is a famine hit some countries, this could be dug up and uh, transported to these vulnerable or affected countries so that people cannot uh, die due to hungry. Okay. So this is the plan behind it. For that, dates are very suitable because it is itself having preservative in its uh, fruit could be stored uh, for you know many more years in under minus uh, ten or twenty degrees centigrade. Okay. So um, in in short, I should tell that um, dates or very very important tropical food crops uh, which could be uh, which could answer for uh, scarcity of food during climate change events okay so not only dates we can be able to store even um, uh, many more surplus grains also under uh, refrigerated that is polar ice caps so that to answer to address hunger uh, in uh, you know famine affected countries in future okay so dates loaded with great minerals and nutrients could be rared or cultivated in tropical countries uh, in and around uh, equator or even subtropical countries which can be able to increase the yield of dates and make uh, globally su surplus so we can store very well in polar region also so as such dates i should tell uh, this uh, if you plant date today date plant today it may yield fruit after seven years perfectly commercially uh, viable dates so before that it will give dates but commercially viable dates will be after seven years or even to after 10 years so dates are very very hard air crop which could be able to bear 0 degree centigrade or 7 degree centigrade or 5 degree centigrade to 56 degree centigrade you know that much hot so that much drastic temperature it could be able to survive what a hardy crop so in middle of the desert around oasis or even in desert it gives sweet fruits imagine the magical behavior character of dates so we should encourage governments should come forward to cultivate to encourage citizens in arid areas to go for date palm cultivation so that surplus dates could be produced and automatically value addition and storability will increase which could be able to answer very well for uh, famine affected country in future or climate change affected um, countries in future Thank you very much for watching this video. You can subscribe my channel and you can advise me through comment section also. And uh, don't forget to press the bell button too. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you again.